Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Welcome back. It has, it's been definitely a while, um, probably a year since, no, actually, yeah, this is, is like an anniversary in a way, right? It's been almost a year now since we went into this, this kind of lockdown, this quarantine with the coronavirus. And we started social distancing, um, doing all of our practices to try to preserve life, our lives and those of those that we care so deeply about. It's been quite a time and I know I have definitely taken a bit of a step back through this time. Um, it, it honestly, it's been an amazing, amazing year. And I mean, I to highlight a few things. I've had some amazing steps that I've taken in terms of my own career, uh, my personal life. Um, truly, truly amazing things there. I have done a ton of self work as well. Um, honestly, though, you know, with all of that, I want to look at a particular thing. You know, we're talking about anniversaries and not only is this like the year out now since uh, COVID started and alhamdulillah, inshallah, all of us, we're starting to come out of that now um, and, and return slowly to life as as normal or figure out what this new normal is going to be for us. Um, it, it's also, it also is my anniversary in a way of coming into Islam uh, and finding sobriety, that whole recovery process. So, you know, I, I'm reminded that as we're coming out of COVID, it's like we're coming into something new. We're, we're, we're discovering what these new situations are around us. Re-engaging with people. Um, like what I'm doing here now after having been gone for, for months on this channel. It's a kind of recovery in a way. And the most important thing, in fact, the prerequisite for beginning anything in Islam is formulating and setting our intentions, the, the niya in the Arabic. So briefly, I just wanted to discuss this because in terms of my own life, this has been something that I have looked at and for one, taken into a bit of a question, re reassessed. You know, I said I, I took a step back and if you've listened to my most recent podcast on the Sober Awakenings uh, podcast, in that I mentioned how there was a point over this past year where I just had to literally just take time to listen, not just to myself, but to the voices around the, the Ummah. What was going on? Where was the, the heartbeat in a way? And it was important not just for centering myself, but for just finding out where, where everyone else was. And this type of self-reflection or cross-reflection, I think it's a very important thing that all of us, we need to do not just probably on a annual basis, but probably on a daily basis. And with that, like I said, it, it comes down to the point of intention. And I, I'm sure you've heard this before. It's a very famous hadith. Nearly every hadith book or, or work that any scholar has put out generally begins with uh, the referencing of this hadith. And, and I just wanted to mention the, like, the first line because it summarizes it very, very quickly on the order of translating. Indeed, 
the the actions, the, the deeds of man are according to the intentions. Uh, summarized as like actions are to intention, according to intentions. It, it's it's looked at as that in Islam how you intend to do things, actually making that intention it is a higher thing than actually what comes afterwards. So, you know, here in the West and how most of us probably end up being raised in a secular environment, we're told that uh, the ends justify the means. So the ultimate goal, what the result is, is what's most important, right? Well, Islam is honestly, it's it, our our Akita is quite the diff, quite the opposite. It, it's where things begin, in the heart, in the, in the mind, in, in the, the soul. Where our intention is there is, is what matters most. So as we move on out of this COVID time, you know, this is probably gonna be the last video I think I do on, on, on COVID, on the coronavirus. Uh, and I'll have more coming out soon about probably like where I want to move the channel and things like that, uh, inshallah. But as we're moving out of this, and, and you know, we even have Ramadan here coming up probably like in a few days, right? This is the perfect time for us to set our intentions. Where do we want to go from here? How have we been? What have we been doing? Are there things in our lives that we want to change and transform into something new? Take that time, set your intentions, make some goals. You will find reward and ease that comes with this. Guaranteed, I have always found it. And I've certainly noticed that when I have been unclear, hazy, um, maybe scattered-minded, just not focused in terms of my intention, then all that I have really received is just what, what's coming to me in the moment. It's just that dunya, that, that worldly reward. There's no akhara. There's, there's no hereafter, eternal concepts of being on the mind or no doubt, as, as we we're told, awaiting us in the future. Guard your intentions. Set your intentions straight and righteously and inshallah with God's mercy and grace many beautiful things will come I would love to hear from you in your comments below what kind of goals do you have in mind for Ramadan here it, it's really like just a few days like a week or and a few uh, left in front of us what are you looking forward to how have you been during this quarantine time? Where are you wanting to go after this? What are your goals? Uh, please let me know in the comments below and look forward to more videos coming out soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.